Well, today we're talking about silvery gibbons found in central and western Java in Indonesia, and they're currently listed as endangered. The silvery gibbon is an amazing animal. It's estimated, unfortunately, that 98% of its forest home has already been destroyed. There's also a 50% chance of them becoming extinct in the next decade. Thankfully, the silvery gibbon project was actually established here in Perth in 1991 and are based solely as volunteer organisation doing a fantastic job of bringing these animals back from the brink of extinction. Joining us today is Claire Campbell from the Silvery Gibbon Project, president of who we say welcome to this morning. Thanks, Marnie. Thanks. Look, tell us a little bit about silvery gibbons. What are they exactly? Well, silvery gibbons are actually apes. They're called lesser apes. So okay. they're more closely related to the great apes like uh, orangutans rather than um, your typical monkey, even though okay. most people look at a gibbon and think it's a monkey when they see it swinging through the trees, but it's not a monkey, it's actually an ape. Uh, there's, there's 16 species of gibbon found mm -hmm. throughout Southeast Asia. Uh, six of these species are actually found in Indonesia, but the silvery gibbon is the only ape species remaining on the Indonesian island of Java. So right. it's incredibly important mm. that we, we do everything we possibly can to preserve this species. Okay, now talking about that, obviously we just mentioned the terrible statistics of deforestation. Mm. What are some of the other things that are causing their endangerment? I guess uh, it's purely and, and simply um, human encroachment into their habitat. Mm. Um, as you mentioned, almost 98% of their habitat is gone. And if you think of Java in terms of its size, it's about twice the size of Tasmania. So we're, we're talking about a relatively small area and there's about 140 million people on Java. So Goodness, obviously not much room left for the gibbons, no. unfortunately. We can um, see some of the beautiful pictures of them too. And you can yeah. see where they get their name from, obviously, yeah. silvery gibbon. They're absolutely beautiful. They're probably one of the most um, beautiful species of gibbon, that's for sure. They're, they're quite unusual. Mm. Um, they're also, I guess, the other main problem for this species in particular is the illegal pet trade. Right. Um, obviously, a baby gibbon is very appealing mm. in terms of a pet, and they are still taken as pets, sadly. Um, we estimate probably close to 300 silvery gibbons are still being kept as pets uh, in Java. Um, so it's, it's still a problem and mm. we're still seeing animals come in that have been taken as pets, even in protected areas. So just because they live in a national park doesn't automatically um, give them protection, unfortunately. That's very sad. Mm. Now, obviously you guys are doing a fantastic job, particularly in Indonesia. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing to prevent some of these occurrences? Yeah, well, I, our main, main focus at this stage is um, our rehabilitation centre. Mm -hmm. So we've established a centre in Java itself where we're um, most, mostly um, donated and confiscated expat gibbons are taken to the centre and we're trying to teach them how to be gibbons again. I guess when, when uh, gibbons have been kept as, as pets it's usually in very small mm. cages um, and they can't swing, move around like a gibbon is supposed to or live in a normal social structure. So by the time we get them, they're often very um, confused right. and not able to behave normally. So we've set them up in um, big forest enclosures okay. where they get to be paired up with other gibbons. Right, we just saw um, a picture of that. Fantastic. Yeah, it, it's nice. They have a nice view over the National Park. The mm. centre is actually located right on the edge of a National Park. Right, so perfect. They, they can see what it's like to be a wild gibbon mm. and um, the, the eventual aim of, of the centre is that we will rehabilitate some of these gibbons to the point where we can reintroduce them back into the wild. Fantastic. Now, very briefly, tell us some of the things that people can do here to help. There's quite a few ways people can help mm -hmm. um, here in Australia, that's for sure. We have a, an adoption program set okay. up through the Silvery Gibbon Project. So we now have eight gibbons available for adoption. Great. Um, can't take them home, of course. <laughs> that's it's a shame. Just, um, <laughs> you get a, a certificate yep. um, with your particular gibbon and um, we have two different levels of adoption. You get certain things in each package as well. So all okay. that information is available on our website. And very, very cute and pictures of them as well. Absolutely, <laughs> of course. Excellent. And you get regular updates on how they're going and who they're paired with and, and all that kind of thing. Um, and 100% of those funds go directly towards the conservation of the, the species. Right. Um, we also have membership to our project, obviously. Um, we have merchandise yep. um, and we hold quite a lot of events as well, which is a huge source of funds for Excellent. us. Excellent. Yeah. Now, I know you've got some events coming up and people can go to your website to find out a little bit more? Yes, keep, keep po uh, we'll keep you posted on our website. Excellent. We have a, a major event coming up in October. We have an art auction, which okay. is, um, has always been a, a huge fundraiser for the Silvery Given Project Brilliant. and very, very popular. So Excellent. we haven't had one for a few years, but we're back in action. This one is going to be bigger and better than before. So. Excellent. Well, yeah. we encourage everyone to get along. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about Silvery Given. Thanks so for having far. me. It's a pleasure.
Guys, if you want to find out a little bit more about Silvery Gibbons, make sure you go to their website, www.silvery.org.au. That's www.silvery.org.au. You can find out some more things about the Gibbons there, some of the events, how you can help. If you can't find that website, go to our website, www.thecount.com.au. That's all we have for today. Until next time, keep it wild.